Um, you guessed. It's one of the big stars at the moment, actually. Furniture designer, interior designer, multiple awards. Um, all from all, doing work all over the country. Let's see what else he's doing. Um, yeah, he's featuring a lot of magazines as well. You, you've got Time Out, L Decoration, I hate you, GQ magazine, to name a few. Can you welcome Lee Broom? Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Good. Okay. This is me, so I couldn't really think about anything more interesting to talk about. So I apologize in advance, but I have had a fairly interesting uh, story leading up to my career now in design, so I thought that I would uh, share it with you all, and hopefully you all think that it's just as interesting. So um, basically, I was uh, born here, uh, Birmingham, for my sins, a sort of place that people drive around or drive through, but they don't really stop off. Um, so I was pretty much stuck there until I was around about 19 and then packed my bags and moved to London for a far more colourful life. Um, but whilst in Birmingham, I was a fairly flamboyant child, uh, sort of child that would play with my Barbies rather than my action man, um, although I did have a soft spot for Ken. Um, I was always designing, always drawing. My dad was an artist, uh, a bit of a demanding child. My parents referred to me as little shit. Um, and then they put me in, <laughs> so theatre school, age of seven till 17, um, I was a professional actor for that whole period, I was a member of the Royal Shakespeare Company, um, did lots of shows, until when I was 17 I entered a fashion design competition, which was uh, for the clothes show, I don't know if you remember that, um, it was the Young Designer of the Year Award, and I won the competition. And I got sent off to London, and they did a whole fashion show, and it was judged by somebody very, very famous indeed. Not Princess Diana, but Vivian Westwood. So at the end of the fashion show, I got to meet Vivian. I nervously asked her for her autograph, and she wrote her telephone number down. And she asked me if I wanted to spend a couple of days with her in the studio in her office. So I obviously jumped at the chance spent two days with just her in her studio, and it was an amazing time. And at the end of it, I showed her my portfolio of, of outfits, some of which are here. And she asked me if I wanted to stay for longer as an intern. So I ended up staying there as an intern in the design studio for around eight or, or nine months. Um, that was in London. And at that time after that, they also took me to Paris, where I was Kate Moss's dresser. So this is actually the outfit that I put her in in 1993 for Cafe Society Collection. It's more of a belt, really, than an outfit. But um, this, this uh, fueled my interest in fashion. So I decided that I needed to knock acting on the head. And I applied to Central St. Martins. Sex Pistols famously played their first gig in Central St. Martins. I wasn't around at the time, obviously. But... Um, it's an iconic place and an iconic building. I know it's now moved, but um, I love my experience at Central St. Martins. I had a great time there. It's an incredibly creative college. And this was the final outfit from my final collection. So uh, sort of, well, Lady Gaga-esque, Japanese origami-esque type uh, outfit. It was a great thing. I was the finale of the show, and it was watched by uh, Prince Andrew. Um, Ah, yes. So one does what one has to do to get by in London as a student. Um, and I worked in a sex shop for two years, for the first two years of my degree, where we'd sell furry handcuffs, normal handcuffs, whips, chains, anal beads, whatever you like. But for my last year, I decided to get a proper job, and I approached a bar called Babushka. They had a few sites around London, and I asked if I could give them some decor advice. So... I used to go there and do bits of upholstery and draping and did it in a number of sites and it became a bit of a cottage industry for me. And after I graduated, they gave me the opportunity to design a whole venue. So this was the one I did for them, which was called Nylon. Um, I project managed it, designed it myself. I worked with the architects. It was a 750,000 pound project and probably one of my biggest actually, even now. Um, but it was a 
an amazing project to work on, an intense training course in interior design, really. So I did it with my friend Mackie, and then we set up a company called Mackie Lee. That was the logo. We did that for around four years. Uh, for the first year, we were working in a greasy spoon cast in King's Cross before it was trendy and cleaned up. But again, an amazing experience and learn everything I know probably about interior design. Right, sorry, a slight segue. At this point, I met my partner, Charlie, and Charlie is the head of city operations for the Olympics. And he is personally responsible for those pink fingers. So love them or loathe them, you've got Charlie to blame for those. But I am very proud of him for everything. So anyway, back to the end of Mackie Lee. This is me at the FA Cup final at Wembley Stadium. First football match I went to and definitely the last. But basically, I designed 40 of the corporate boxes for Wembley Stadium. And that's how I built up a network of manufacturers. It was a brilliant project for me, did well for the company. And so after that, I was able to set up my own brand, which is Lee Broom. So this was the first flyer that we did for, for my company, for my Neo Neon collection. It was London Design Festival 2007. It was pretty successful. We got written about in lots of press. Um, and one of the first people write about it was Kanye West. So he got in touch with me to say how much he liked the collection. He put it on his blog and he put it on his website and he also gave me tickets for his show, which was great. So since then, I've designed a collection every year during London Design Festival. Um, and earlier this year, I got to design, well, I got to do my first show in Milan. So a big moment for me, actually. I did a show called Public House. I erected a pub in Ventura Lambrate, which was from an original pub in London, and presented all my pieces from the past five years. So this pretty much takes us up to now. This is my latest project, Crystal Bulb Shop. We're open till Sunday. We're actually selling the bulbs. They're 20% cheaper than they are in John Lewis and Selfridges. So make sure you come down while stocks last. Thank you very much, everybody, for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. Good night. <laughs>